Evan Lambert live at Reagan National Airport with the latest on mask mandates and public transit. And Evan, it sounds like we have just learned that mandate is in fact lifted tonight. Nicole, that is what we are hearing from an administration official just in the last few moments telling us that while this is being reviewed by the relevant agencies that uh, in the meantime, they say today's court decision means CDC's public transportation masking order is not in effect at this time and therefore TSA will not be enforcing it. But I can tell you it is still leading to lots of confusion. At airports and other transit centers across the country, mass mask confusion. This after a federal judge's order this afternoon vacating the federal mask mandate for transportation. Some passengers telling us today it's about time. Uh, I'm super thrilled that it could be over. I think that it's time. The mandate was already set to expire today, but the CDC announced last week it would be extended until May 3rd, given a rise in cases due to the BA2 subvariant. A judge appointed by former President Trump saying the CDC overstepped with the national mandate. Yeah, yeah, please, no more masks. I'm ready for no more masks. Even airlines are unclear about the immediate implications. Allegiant saying its mask policy is still in place and the Association of Flight Attendants Union urging calm as it evaluates the ruling, saying, quote, immediately we urge calm and consistency in the airports and on planes. The last thing we need for workers on the front lines or passengers traveling today is confusion and chaos. And again, the, an administration official telling us that as this is under review, the TSA will not be enforcing this mass transportation federal mandate. Nicole? Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.